next Factions how-to episode. Today we're going to be showing you how to gen rap pools on your base in Factions. So yeah, I'll get to this straight on with it and I'll show you what to do. Alright, so what you want to do is first you've got to get some of these uh, pillar games. Pillars going across, going. So this one I've got it, I've just got it one away from the water and then one away, two away from the base if you include the water. And then I've got cobble wall, then I have got a dirt wall. And I've got one in between and it's just one thick. So this goes all the way around the base, equal amount away from the base, all the way around. And then what you're going to do is depending on how many walls you have, is how many of these you put. So I'm going to, should we, should we gen 10 rap walls? So let's just quickly go like this and I will get the, get the platform ready for 10 rap walls. Okay, right, guys, so we have got a good number of walls. I think we can have about 11 walls on each side, something like that, which is all right for a medium sized base, but really you want more on that on your base. But what we are going to do now is on all of the dirt, we are going to want to place lava. So here we go, let's just place it on one wall all the way around and then I'm just going to do it on the rest of the world we'll edit. Alright, so there is the first layer all the way gone. Now you need to make sure that before you do really anything to do with water, you're going to wait for all of this lava to go all the way down to the bottom. Otherwise you're going to gen some pretty bad cobble monsters. So I'm going to world edit the rest of the lava in on top of all the dirt, on top of the dirt only, not the cobble. Uh, so yeah. I'll react to you when we have done that. Oh, okay, so as you can see here, the lava is nearly coming down to the bottom. And so, yeah, just quick tip never let Diamond AK47 do any world editing for you. Yeah, that will always be useful. All right, so as you see, down, it's down reaching the bottom now. So, what we can do now is you know why I put it in dirt, right? You put, I, you can see, where is it? It's here, right? There we go. It's dirt under here. Now, what we're going to want to do is uh, I'm just going to give you a quick bit of advice. Now, this is dirt, and I'm going to tell you why. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you why we're going to need a shovel. Now, because it's dirt here, and what uh, if it was any other thing, and it's probably going to be really hard for us to instant mine it. So a, a shovel, if you can see, it, we're mining it, and it's instantly mining it. So if we go in here now, you'll see it's all mined. Whereas if we were using a, a stone, a, a pickaxe on cobblestone and it doesn't obviously insta mine and so it will take obviously a lot longer and you're also more likely to miss blocks and if you miss a block then that will seriously actually damage your walls because they will literally be easy to cannon through so yeah we'll show i'm just going to go all the way around and i'm going to be breaking all the dirt here and then yeah i'll be back in a sec with you guys once all that's done all right guys so as you can see now all of the lava is coming down here and yeah because we have removed all the dirt so what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for that to go all the way down to the bottom and then what we will do is we will just be placing the water where the cobblestone is so yeah let's just hold on there for a second. all right now so the lava has gone all the way down to the bottom so what we are now going to need to do is we're going to need to put the water on every single bit of this cobble here now so what we it's probably easier to start with these here so you've got to make sure it goes down there well, what you've got to do is you've got to go all the way along. It doesn't have to be source blocks all the way along, although you need a source block in the corner. That's the only thing. So, like you see here, now we, have, we could put another one here, and it wouldn't actually matter. You haven't got source blocks there. So, if we go all the way around on all of these sides now, then that would be good. Okay, ripperoni. All right, now that problem's fixed, and I'm just going to go around with the rest, and yeah, we're going to do every single block on the with the coal stone put it on top and so yeah let's i'll be back with you in a second all right guys so all of the water is now in place so what we have got to do now is literally just break all of the blocks of cobblestone under the water and then the walls will all gen now this is a very 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 laggy so I warn that you need really need a good computer for this and also a good server to do it on. So let's do a quick little bit of that on camera. Now I'm just going to break these blocks. Now I'm admitting I haven't really got a very good computer. So if we go here now, I'm on 19, 18 FPS. And this probably isn't very good YouTube quality, is it? Because as you can see here, the walls are genning all the way down. Now this is one of the walls. Uh, but uh, let's finish this one and I'm going to show you one of the proper ones. Alright, so that's that wall journey now. So if we go onto this one in here, 
then all we have literally got to do is it's just like break every single block including corner ones so you can either do this with a pickaxe mining along like this or you could go with get some like depth strider boots and go along like this with a pickaxe but yeah Let's get ready. Let's do all of this, and I'll be back with you in a second when that's done. Now, as you can see, this I'm on 16 FPS, and this really isn't the best thing for my computer. So yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be wood editing rather than actually building, actually breaking them. But that really doesn't matter because if you're off on a server, and you might as well just wood edit. Whoa, 14 FPS. Now that's getting pretty bad, really, for my PC standard. There we go. Now that's the last lot. Gen, so if you can see here, though, well, it's still gen, it's still we're still genning quite a few walls down there. And if you can see here, the lava is still only turning into cobble roughly around here. So, yeah, I'll be back with you in a sec and I'll show you what they are like. And there we go, it looks like we have gened all the walls. So, we've got them down here, water. Now, what you can do here is you can swap this water, this lava here for water. Uh, but then, what you, what you won't have to do is what I'm just about to do. So if you want to stop people being able to creep break your walls and pretty much break them, you, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place cobblestone over every single piece of lava like this here. So I'm just going to do it on a on probably on this side and I want to show you what you want to do then after. So this here is what you're going to do to place it on every single block and then what you're going to do then is place water on every single block here. So uh yeah this is just to stop people from creep regging your walls and turning them into obsidian so i'm quickly just going to get a creep reg and i'm just going to show you what people can do so all they would need to do really is to mess up your walls quite a lot oh and difficulty what oh yeah we we're going to want to place a creeper here and we're going to want to blow it up now this is going to blow up i'm going to need to pull in some steel you need to pull steel there we go right let's blow it up okay so there you go you see it's turned into obsidian now if you do this all the way around all of them you can pretty much can into their base pretty easy and you what you really don't want is people just going along right creeper egg bam if it's like an op faction server where creeper eggs don't actually matter then look you can just literally just go along and do this uh, and then you've got you've got another place where you can creeper egg hit and it it just messes it all up so you really if possible you really don't want that so that's why that's why i would recommend placing the water over the top now i know this is a longer than usual factions how to video but i really hope that you enjoyed it and i really hope that you were able to now go and gen wrap walls that are really hard to read so yeah it would be amazing if you could subscribe if you're not subscribed already and leave a like which also would be very much appreciated so yeah I will see you guys in the next Factions How To episode. Bye.